What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the fight between James Gallagher and Cal Eleanor. Fight here in the Bellator Bantamweight division. Should be a fun one. James Gallagher is a very hot prospect in Bellator. Um, you know, besides that one defeat he had against Ricky Bandejas, he looks very good. High level submission skills. Now, his opponent, Cal Eleanor, is no slouch. He's a really tough guy. We'll quickly preview both guys' records a bit and then get into the matchup here. So first, let's bring up Cal Eleanor. Uh, he is the lesser known guy. With Cal, 8-2 is a pro. So you have a guy with a solid record. Um, he fights out of England. And his last fight, Nathan Grayson, he won that fight in the first round by submission. It was a really back and forth fight on the ground. Grayson actually looked like he may get a stoppage early on. Um, but, you know, Eleanor fought back and defended the grappling attacks of Nathan Grayson and ended up getting a submission himself in the first round. Now, prior to that, does have a decision loss uh, to Luthando Bica. That's over in the EFC. But, I mean, good streak. Uh, out of his last four fights, he's 3-4 and four and 8-2 and and is a pro. He's a very skilled fighter and this is a fun matchup for James Gallagher and a good test here now his opponent James Gallagher 10 and 1 as a pro good win streak he's got going since his first defeat three in a row for him now last fight was a win by guillotine choke in just 35 seconds over Roman Salazar he's a pretty solid fighter and I mean he was definitely on the hot track um, to possibly a Bellator title shot and then he runs into Ricky Bandejas and is knocked out in the first round. Um, also has a win over Lyoto Machida's brother, Chinzo, too. Uh, that was prior to the Ricky Bandejas fight. But we have a good matchup here between these two guys. With Gallagher, I do feel as he's got improved striking skill. He's a very athletic guy, too. And, I mean, his submission skills are really high level. Also, that very tight guillotine, which we saw him win by guillotine choke in his last fight. Now, he doesn't fear the takedown at all, which allows him to throw a lot of kicks, jumping at attacks, flying knees. He really doesn't worry about being put on his back because he's so dangerous with his submissions. Now, he does have that McGregor-esque vibe too. A lot of people say he's a McGregor copycat. Maybe a little bit of that. They are teammates. Um, also, quality takedowns, especially when against the cage. Now, his opponent, Eleanor, very resilient grappler. Good submission defense. I mentioned that when he fought Nathan Grayson. I mean, he defended the submission attacks of Grayson. Grayson had his back, was on top, and dominating that fight. And I feel like that comeback shows a lot about Cal Eleanor. And I don't think this is an easy fight for James Gallagher here. Now, Eleanor, never been finished as a pro. Gallagher, very dangerous with his submissions. But I do think he's going to have a tough time with Cal Eleanor here. I think we see a Gallagher unanimous decision victory. I think that is the most realistic outcome here between these two guys. I still see Gallagher winning and moving on to potentially a title shot maybe in the next couple. I do think he needs at least two more after this uh, to really be in that title shot talk because he really hasn't fought besides Ricky Mendejas anybody super notable in the bantamweight division but with a win we could maybe see Sergio Pettis versus James Gallagher I know Gallagher is interested in that matchup I don't see why Pettis wouldn't be interested in it um, I think he did mention possibly uh, be, being willing to take that fight and I think it's a fun matchup the elite level striking versus the very high level grappling also a matchup I mean of a former top UFC contender and I wouldn't I guess we can't call James Gallagher a Bellator star, but he's definitely a, a popular guy in Bellator that's well-liked and definitely is popular in his native Ireland. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Also, guys, follow my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and I'll see you all in the next video.